What's going on, guys? Today, I'm going to suggest that uh, that bigger isn't always better. I'm going to be talking about the Minolta Hymatic G. Now, I know that conventional wisdom will always tell you bigger is better, but with this Hymatic G, I, I think that's that's not the case. You know, it's it's a, a compact, tiny little viewfinder that, that'll just fit in your pocket. And uh, this thing, I mean, you know, I think size or, or the, the lack of size that this has is, is really a, a big plus for it. And I think because this thing is such a, a compact little camera, I, it makes having a roll with you at all times super easy. So I'll do a quick overview, point out the gadgets and the doohickeys, and uh, let you know what I thought shooting the camera, and uh, in the process, maybe regurgitate a couple facts that I looked up online as well. So, on the front side, the only thing really to be concerned with is your ISO dial, which is this serrated little dial right here. Uh, you just kind of push it and, and spin it, and that can be seen in this little window right here. On the top of the camera, You've got your advanced lever, your shutter button, hot shoe, and rewind lever. It is packed with features. Now there's two dials around the lens here. And you'll see this outer one. Uh, this is your focusing ring. And you have four different zones that you can you set this to. So here's your landscape, your group of people, semi-far away people, and then semi-close people. And I, I don't know exactly what, what the uh, distance in feet or meters are uh, corresponding with these uh, these here. So what I'll do is uh, I'll, I'll link up down, down below, I'll link up the user manual for this, and um, I'm sure that they'll have, you know, what the distances are. Uh, but it's a typical distance. Uh, you know, it's, it's really, it's not brain surgery. Uh, if you see a mountain, you put it on the mountain. If you're, you see a group of people, you put it on the group of people. And this inner ring now uh, is actually your, this is for your flash. And you have auto, okay, which is normally what you probably want to keep it on, uh, or your guide numbers. And then you can just rotate that by, well, by rotating it. Now, this thing was manufactured in the, the mid-70s, and... Now, there's some people online that uh, don't believe that Minolta actually manufactured this, that this was kind of outsourced by another camera company, uh, only because it's it's really similar to some other models that are out there. You know, I, some people will be like, oh, well, it's it's not a Minolta because Minolta didn't make it, this, that, whatever. It, you know what, dude? Says Minolta, it, that's good. That's good enough for me. Now, I don't, you know, this is the only Hymatic that, that I've had. Um, I, I don't know how to compare this to the other Hymatics because I, I believe this is you know only one in a, a series of these, um, so I, I'd be I'd be curious to find out uh, how this kind of stacks up against the other models. Now, usually when when I'm testing a camera, I'll I'll at least run two or three rolls through it, and you know this guy it, honestly it, it saw probably 10, 10 plus rolls, uh, and and the reason being is it, because it's pocketable. It it really it's it's a joy to shoot. Uh, you know, so it, it went past the the whole the the whole testing point. You know, I, I actually was enjoying shooting the camera. Now the the lens on this thing it's it's not bad, right? Uh, it's not Ginsu level, okay, but it's it's good enough. You know, it's it's good enough for uh, a pocket camera that you can take with you and have with you whenever. And as far as the specs on this thing. Uh, I believe that it, it goes from 2.8 to 14, and now all that is, is automatic, and, and you'll kind of see where it's at when you look through the viewfinder. Uh, you'll you'll kind of see, there'll be a little uh, needle that'll say, okay, this is kind of where you're at, uh, but all that is is automatic in here. And again, I, I think that's, that's really another plus for this camera, because not only is it pocketable, uh, but it's it's simple, you know, like literally, you just take it out, you point it, and you shoot it. And that's, you know, th there's a time to be technical and a time to be uh, precise. And then there's a time to just point and, and take pictures of random shit. All right. When you want to do that, this is a good camera to, to, you know, to get the job done. 
So my final thoughts on the Hymatic G, it is absolutely a cool camera. Uh, I love the portability of it. Uh, the, the pictures that it turns out are, are great. And now I'm, I'm curious to hear, you know, for all you guys who, who have Hymatics and, and maybe you've shot the G and, and you have some, some of the other models, uh, you know, how does this thing stack up to the other models? Because, you know, I, I really enjoyed shooting this and I'm not against, uh, if I'm, you know, perusing eBay and, and I got some extra cash, uh, I'm not against picking another Hymatic up, uh, but I, you know, I don't know what, what model might be the, the good one to go for. Uh, so, so, you know, chime in, let me know, how does this thing stack up? To, to the other models and and i guess that kind of wraps it up guys if you've enjoyed the video if you could please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and for anybody who hasn't subscribed yet i'll, I'll put one of the little bubble thingies right around there uh, go ahead and, and click that and then you'll you'll get notified anytime we upload something new all these videos that uh, that we're, we're putting out, uh, some are overviews like this, others are how-tos or instructionals, but uh, everything's film photography related. So if, if that's your cup of tea, then, uh, you know, go ahead, subscribe, and, and we'll keep bringing them to you. Until next time, we'll see you. Now I'll go through and I'll I'll do the, the roundabout and show all the, the gidgets and the woo-hickeys and the, <laughs> the gidgets and the woo-hickeys.